Project Nexus. You heard about it? No. You're about to. It starts in the fall. It'll be completed in 2023. 8,500 feet of solar panels are going to be installed over water canals in Central California, increasing renewable power generation, reducing water evaporation, and helping older people like Corbin's mom stay wet. Thank you. Long way home, but it was worth it, wasn't it? Bye, everybody. I'm here till Thursday. Try the meatloaf. I didn't listen to one word you just said. Just- Hey, we'll go back to our stupid Rick. <laughs> he did some corp. I'm Rick. <sighs> Something about wet. Yeah. It doesn't rain. No, anymore. they're doing a really cool thing in that they're putting solar powered. Uh, vibrators. Yes, that's it. Uh, solar yes. powered vibrators. That's actually not going to work unless you do that outdoors like your mom. Um, no, they're, they're solar panels over water canals. And it's going to do a myriad of things for the Central Valley in helping with drought problems based on climate change and energy problems as well. Are we in a drought? The world is in a drought, except where it's flooding. Now, Pakistan. Yeah, really sorry really to hear sucks. about that. Really sorry. Very it's sorry like, to I think hear they about said that. Like a third of the country. Almost a third of the country is on the water. Insane. Yeah. I know we do have stupid babies in Pakistan. Um, praying for you guys. <sighs> yeah, it's it's, uh, it's an awful situation. Going it really on is, right and I, I'm, I haven't seen anything yet. I know they're asking, but I'm I'm really hoping humanitarian efforts are being done by the places that do it um, to, to to help the people because uh, that's just sad. But anyways, today we got a uh, little little thing. This is. Do you know who Greg Ellis is? Um, the son of Mr. and Mrs. Ellis. No, he's an American drummer and percussionist known for his work in film and world oh. music. And he lives in, he's a Los Angeles person. Yeah, no, I don't, Anyways, I don't he's know. A, he's a really good percussionist and drummer. Cool. But apparently he goes to a Ganesh festival and plays drums with oh. a bunch of the locals. Cool. Um, and so it's going to be kind of like a celebration. And he'll of. impress them and they'll impress him. And it could, because the way Indians, especially in like celebration drumming do it, it's like a totally different thing. Oh yeah. How people in the West do it. Yeah, but I bet. For a percussionist, it must be a really cool vibe to be around that stuff because uh, why wouldn't you love all that? Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. (laughs) Did you notice the Yankee hat? In there. Must have gotten in the garbage.
Ah. was awesome so you know you know what stands out to me about that well, so greg, drumming <laughs> well greg ellis is like a, a renowned percussionist in yeah. america right yeah of international caliber right mm. so here he is doing what he does and there's a bunch of people who most everybody would not even really know who they were necessarily they're just people who happen to love doing percussion matching him and all, it's, it's it's notable because obviously we've we've seen people in indie play drums in many different ways, right? Or percussion, but the 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 difference in how they hold. I know. Obviously, the in he, between the middles. He he looks like he's he's giving it his all, and he's, he's doing. He, he looks like it's easy for him, obviously, but it looks like he's giving it his all. But they're just the way they're holding it, it makes it look like they're not even thinking. They're just like. Yeah. In fact, the one guy he's doing, he's talking to people. Hey, make sure they stand back over there. But he's still matching, and uh, da, 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 that was fun to watch. Da, 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 da. And the amount, uh, obviously, that the fact that there, it sounds like there's 20, 20, 30 plus yeah, yeah. drums uh, at the time. It just it's 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 a it's an epic sound to it. Uh, that's really fun, though. I love the blending of east and west. Uh, him playing the snare drum, then playing I don't know what that drum is called. Yeah, I don't I don't either. And there were a couple of different drums right there, but yeah, it's just. I'm always amazed by the fact that for every world-renowned artist of any discipline, there's countless others out there that could match them, and you'll never know their names. Mm -mm. You know? I mean, some of the greatest songs ever written, unfortunately, we'll never hear because nobody published them. You know, some of the greatest acting performances we'll never see because they were done on stage by somebody somewhere in a, you know, a, a small off-Broadway theater. Me. Yeah. Done by me. Uh, and you'll never see it. That yep. sucks for you. Yeah. Uh, I've already won five Oscars in my head. Wow. Um, only, only five? Yeah. For, for supporting or for best? No, best actor. The the years I didn't win, uh, it was like, oh, he, he gets it for his career. And it's, Got it. It's a, it's a politics. You Got understand. it. Yeah, I understand. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. There's a great moment in this episode of The Sopranos, you'll remember it, where the screenwriter who's friends with Chris... Mm -hmm. is really strung out and he can't pay Chris back and so he's at a pawn shop a jeweler and he's trying to sell his Emmy and the guy says if you had an Oscar <laughs> might be worth a little bit more Academy Award yeah if you yeah. had an Academy Award but for, for yeah he said an Academy Award but for TV <laughs> Soprano writers were dying when they wrote that I know yeah. that was awesome yeah that was fun uh, let us know what other videos uh, like this or others that we can react to down Blow O. That's my Bengali language for the day. Oh, good. <laughs> Just